The world has changed. We've moved into a time where across all disciplines, across all areas of work, there is an abundance of data and the ability to make use and exploit that data is important. This fall, we'll be introducing a certification in data sciences. This is offered by the Institute for Data Sciences and Engineering at Columbia University. What do people mean by this phrase, you know, big data? They're in healthcare, they're in social media, they're in sensor networks of all kinds, gathering data in the environment, they're in finance. You know, everywhere you look, people are gathering data on a completely unprecedented scale. One of the main purposes of science and engineering is to be able to make predictions. Having enormous quantities of data allows us now to make predictions based just on data. And this is a completely new paradigm. There is a need across various domains to understand how we take this data which is cheaply available, which is coming at us from all different directions, and make sense out of it, make some decisions out of it. What is it that you can inform the public about the information that you've extracted? What is it that you can inform your clients about the information? There's very few people who have a background that's really combined the, the computational strengths needed for uh, modern large data sets and uh, with the statistical strengths that you need to, to learn from these data. So to create the certification, we've started out with four brand new classes. The first is probability and statistics, like uh, fundamental tools that actually enable us to analyze and understand patterns in, in data sets. There are theoretical ideas and, and mathematical tools that are relevant, more relevant in that context than in data science, so we're de-emphasizing those, whereas we're putting more emphasis on uh, uh, for example, um, theories underlying predictive modeling. The second is algorithms for big data, which is really an introduction to how we might use um, computational tools to go into big data sets and find patterns in the data sets, extract information from the data sets, see new trends that we'd never thought about. And the third course is machine learning for big data. How do some of the massive data sets that we're all being overwhelmed with in, in business, in industry, even in the academy, um, how do, what type of machine learning tools do we need to, to extract useful information? And the final course is about exploratory data analysis and visualization. And the visualization component, I think, is something that Columbia has significant strength in across the entire campus, and it's becoming, it's becoming more and more important in data science. If you have a massive data set, how do you visualize that? The certification program will sort of circumvent the initial I can do this with just my brain and enough effort stage that I went through as a PhD student. And I would have been able to start my research sooner and start getting results sooner if I had had access to the certification program. That entire step could have been leapfrogged over. As educators, we feel that uh, we can benefit society by uh, telling them that there are systematic methods available. We felt that this would be a good way to reach out to professionals who are interested and They'll come out knowing sort of the state of the art of what data science is about. By bringing together education and data science, uh, we hope to train practitioners so that they can go out and change the world to be a place where data is effectively used.